good morning my dear student i hope you all are fine at home and safe i'm going to start with the chapter my sql it is a one of the most important chapter after the python so in board you will get 25 marks from my sql myself my kumar as a pgd teacher from basis vidyalaya school class 12 informatic practices 4065 chapter my sql revision 2 my my sql revision tool and functions i am going to explain in this uh, chapter some topics names are mysql database management system or dbms benefits of using dbms relational table what is a key and types of keys candidate key primary key alternate key foreign key unique key degree cardinality this is from the mysql revision tool first one what is a mysql MySQL is a structured query language, world's second most widely used relational database management system, and most widely used open source software that is RDBMS. It is a name after co-founder Michael Whitehouse, George Mike. That's why the name is assigned MySQL. Some software icons are assigned on the slides. Next one, what is a DBMS? Database. What is a database? Database, a collection of the records which is organized in the systematic manner. Your data is stored in the systematic manner. Okay, so your database is an organized collection of the data. Software used to manage databases is called database management system. So shortly we used to call as a DBMS. Acronyms of the DBMS is database management system. Next topic. What is our DBMS? RDBMS is nothing but application software, which is used for database. Database used to maintain a relational database is called RDBMS, relational database management system. Some popular RDBMS softwares available are Oracle, MySQL, Sybase, Ingress, SQLite, CouchDB, MariaDB, Cassandra, OrientDB, and NeoFOC, Firebird, Postgre, SQL, etc. So these are the application software for the RDBMS. What are the benefits of using a database? First benefit, redundancy can be controlled. That means in the database, it never accepts the duplicate value. That is the first benefit. Second, inconsistent is inconsistent records cannot be can be avoided. Can be inconsistent can be avoided. That means no duplicate value is added into the table. data can be shared very easily without the permission nobody can be access your data that is a fourth point security restriction can be applied and under the dbms easy of application development it is very easy to develop the applications with the help of using a mysql as a backend with many uh, front end softwares like netbean python etc visual basic etc so data independence reduce the program maintenance that is a very important factor under the dbms next one relation a relation a table refers to the two dimensional representation of the data arranged in the columns also called fields attributes degree and rows also called as records tuples cardinality the table in the database are generally related to each other through pili facilitated facilitated efficient management of the database interrelated tables also reduce the chances of errors in the database so there is a one example i drawn below the content row 1 row 2 row 3 column 1 column 2 the columns which are represent in the vertical aspect row represent in the horizontal aspect so that's why this collection of the records into the table in the form of two dimensional representation of the data right next topic key key is an attribute or the set of the attribute which helps you to identify rows tuples in the relation table they allow you to find the relation between two tables key helps you to uniquely identify rows in a table by combination of one or more columns in that table example uh, here i taken as a student record so four columns which is act as a unique leaf 
like student ID, roll number, uh, email ID. Sorry, not a four column, three columns. Next topic, types of the keys available in a database in MySQL. So there are different types of the keys, but according to the NCRT, we have the five types of keys in our syllabus. First one, candidate key. Second one, primary key. Third one, unique key. Fourth one, alternate key. Fifth one, foreign key. Sixth one, super key. Seventh one, composite key. So in our syllabus, only the five keys are that, right? Unique key. Unique key is a set of one or more than one fields, columns of the table that uniquely identify a record in a database table. You can say that it is a little like primary key, just similar like primary key, but it can accept the null value and the unique. But primary key will not be accepted the null value. It cannot have a duplicate value. So it never accepts the duplicate value under the primary key. So there may be many unique key constraints for one table. That means you can assign many unique key for any column, for any column, but not to assign in the primary key, right? So here, there's a few example is given in the table, employee ID, employee name, mobile number, address, license number, license number, PAN number. So employee ID, which uh, can be which can be act as a unique key under the, all the records are updated uniquely. If you check in the mobile number, there's a null value as well as in the license number or also values updated in the null. That means that particular column can be considered as a unique. Okay. It's not necessary. The null value must be declared in the record. Say so in some cases we used to declare null value. There are some points you have to be remember. Null value accepted under the unique key. Unique records only added here. No accepted the duplicate value. So it won't accept any duplicate value under the unique key of the field. So some example I just made. Create table sample underscore unique ID. Data type integer. I assign the primary key for the ID. Then next column I assign name. Data type var care. Size is given 30. And this column I assign as a unique key. Only the two column I assign. Then afterwards I updated with a few records. First record is updated with the RAM and ID is one. Then second record is updated with the name null. ID is two. Then third record is updated with the ID three name null. Again the fourth record I'm trying to update it with the ID four. Again the same name I updated under the unique key. But in MySQL, unique key will not be uh, unique key will not be accepted the duplicate value. That is the reason you are getting the error duplicate entry RAM for key name. And below one example, that is the final output of the your data. So all the data null value is updated as per that first. Then the record is updated. Okay. Next one, candidate key. Candidate keys is an attribute or the set of attributes that can act as a primary key for a table to unique identify each record in the table. There can be more than one candidate key. In our example, employee ID, employee ID, mobile number, license number, PAN number. This all the four fields is considered as a candidate key because all the records are updated uniquely identify each record in that table. Okay, that is the reason. But candidate key never be null or empty. Okay, candidate key never be null or empty. Primary key. Primary key, the group of one or more columns used to uniquely identify each row of the relation is called primary key. Primary key is a key in a relation database that is unique for each record. It is a unique identifier. For example, employee ID, student ID, driver license number, telephone number, area code, vehicle identifier number. So these are the columns can be assigned as a primary key, which all the records are updated uniquely. So some points we have to remember under this topic, null value will not be accepted once you assign that column as a primary key. 
second one all the record must be updated uniquely so only one primary key can be assigned into the table you can't assign many primary key in a single table right next one alternate key alternate key is a key associated with one or more columns whose value uniquely identify every row on the table but which is not the primary key so you are not supposed to include the primary key rest of the candidate key can be considered as a alternate key that you have to remember which are the columns are updated uniquely that columns are considered as a candidate key like mobile number license number pan number so three columns which are called as a alternate key in that one uh, column not in that one column under the candidate key one column is assigned as a primary key so rest of the columns consider as a alternate key right foreign key what is the benefit of the foreign key foreign key is a key used to link two table together key is a field or the collection of the field in one table that refers to the primary key in another table the table containing the foreign key is called as a child table and the table containing the candidate key is called the reference or the parent table so a reference or parent table so here two tables are created one table first table is a teachers which is act as a parent table second one class assigned table which is act as a child table if you observe in the both the table uh, two fields are common like teacher id teacher id name name but third columns are different in the both the table but if you observe under the teacher id in the parent table all the records are updated uniquely but as in child table records are repeated again okay so that's why we assign the child table under the child table teacher id as a foreign key under the parent table teacher id is a primary key that is the main important thing you have to remember which are the records are updated that particular column can be assigned as a foreign key all the records must be updated uniquely that you can assign as a primary key for example if you go to the parent table 101 mk computer 102 jp maths 103 sl economics 104 sn computer if you move to the child table 101 twice time is updated mk like 10 tgt 11th 12th pgd the same aspect id 102 teacher jp is uh, uh, assigned to the class 10th uh, tgt as well as pgt so this two teachers which are two times records updated under the class assigned there are two more teacher which are uniquely updated into the child table next one degree degree is nothing but number of the columns in a employee table you can call as column fields and degrees okay so uh, degree is nothing but very easily you can understand you can call as a column fields degree right so you have to count the number of the columns in the given table you need not to worry about it just count the column that's why they shortly called as a degree so they do own call directly name column so you have to remember employee id employee name mobile number address license number pan number so total six columns in the employee table right the next topic cardinality cardinality is nothing but number of rows in employee table so you have to count the number of records updated into the employee table you are not supposed to include the title of the employee table okay so only the records which are updated by the user that record only you have to count under the cardinality 